Coach, how, uh, how nice was it to see uh, Isaac back out here? I know he's not practicing, but just to be around the team and just with his teammates. Uh, well, and, again, I just think you know, good for teammates, good for us, but really probably just good for him. I know all he's talking about is wanting to get back to normal. Uh, and again, because we didn't know for sure till yesterday, uh, I know he just he and his family like to just have one opportunity to talk about it. And we knew we couldn't get maybe as many people here to do it once. I think we'll wait and probably do it maybe probably next weekend. It's probably the best day. Uh, but again, glad to have him back. He said he was able to stay up with his work. Looks good. And we're going to just break the team down there. And uh, we'll look forward to having a good week and getting him back home. And Hank, what do you see in terms of assessing the progress so far, especially today with the scrimmage? Um... You know, some, you know, it's typical uh, of some things, some good and bad. I saw some, uh, uh, I see a lot of things defensively I like in, in, in a lot of things, but I don't see it in some consistency yet. I don't see it in some groups. I see some individual play, some guys more physical showing up in some individual, but taking that consistently to the scrimmage field or in the first drive or second drive, third drive, uh, the one offense uh, really started playing really good today. I thought we... Uh, um, tried to get some run game going, and we saw, I think, we thought Miles Graham for a young guy ran well. We didn't do a ton, but D'Angelo ran well. Uh, we're trying to bring those tight ends along. I thought both quarterbacks were pretty good. Our defense showed some things and made some plays, but they're a little inconsistent. I know they're going to be, which I like, I think they're going to be very disappointed, but I like where they're at, and I think they got a lot of growth to do, but I think they're going to I think they're going to see a lot of things they like and a lot of things to build on. I guess elaborate on that from the defensive standpoint, like what do you like in terms of I mean, what the alignment's doing for them? What oh, other stuff's doing? What, what, well, what's what's yeah, the positives you, you're thinking I just, about? Well, and again, I don't think if we know for sure they were playing as fast or as confident, but I think um, they're grasping some of the concepts of how to relate. Uh, we gave up a few plays. We missed a few tackles. But I think we're, we're getting off blocks better. We're understanding our principles of where to be. Uh, and I think there's just a lot more movement and blitzing that they're doing. It's creating some problems. Obviously, you got. Now it's uh, just early, just practice. A lot of new faces at receivers. You know, other than the guys who came back in, any of the young guys kind of stepping up or guys are staying in. I, I really thought, and again, you know, he gets he gets hyped a lot, and I don't like the recruits to get hyped. But I thought Dominique Boos had a good week. We've actually looked at Jordan Fuchs a little bit as a tight end. Looked at him some a little bit as just a flexed out receiver to have a bigger body out there. He's turning. You know, 23, 25 pounds, and he runs. He runs as fast as our receivers. And not that we're going to move him, but to maybe teach him some hybridness because he is very athletic and I, I do like Casaro's not even practicing you would think he might be our first tight end uh, I really like what Danny Friend and I really like what um, uh, Michael Cooper are doing at tight end so we're going, it's not great yet but we're going to be big there um, uh, Shane Wynn starting to get comfortable outside um, you know Isaiah Roundtree's had a little hamstring that's not major but it's held him up so uh, Caleb Corn has been a little bit better it's not high end yet but he's gaining uh, it's a work in progress, but like the defense, I'm sure Coach Johns will point out a lot of things he doesn't like, but I like where it's going, but it's got a long way to go. But if that group's going to, they made some plays, they would score a few touchdowns. What are you hoping, what are you hoping the biggest thing that the, the new defense brings and maybe shows different than it has been in the past year? Oh, one, well, just some consistency to, you know, get us on schedule, stop the run, and get some third down stops. Uh, and maybe not give up, you know, uh, you know, as, as many cheap big plays. So, uh, to me, that that the same thing offensively. We got we got to be an offense that doesn't rely on on on, on gimmetry or, or tempo. You need to be good enough that you can physically you know, have some balance, protect the quarterback, run the ball. It's nice to do some things schematically, but if you rely on scheme, it, it goes. You know, you need to have players. But it's a two-way deal. Some scheme involvement, some coaching, some player deal. And, and I think we're going to be more mature defensively. A lot of guys back. A lot more talent there, but we got to get the point of the scheme and the players working together. Right now, you see some individual things happening, you see some scheme things happening, but you see some disconnect where the scheme doesn't get executed or they don't get off and make the play they're capable of. Next time, you see it. Same deal offensively. We got to quit relying on, you know, no huddle or fast play still. Hey, I can make a block, I can make a competitive play. So as we go through spring, we go through preseason, we're more mature. We're significantly stronger. A lot of guys back. We got a lot of stars back, and you just like to see a little bit more consistency and physicalness. And and every day we're just a little bit more solid, and you feel like you're just you're you're consistently getting a little bit better instead of flashing. You want to show it day after day. Kevin, is any of the offensive line with the offensive line guys that you've got out right now have any of the other offensive line guys stepped up? You yeah, know? you know it's a good question, Don. And we're missing you know a couple a couple guys in the secondary too, like with. With Murphy and Antonio Allen, it kind of impacts that defense a little bit, you know, and those are decent guys, you think. But it's really good for Dutra and guys in the place. So, like, right now we're, we're missing Dan Feeney. 
and who should be kind of good here by the end of spring. And he looks great, but he's not really clear for full contact coming off that little Liz Frank foot break he had. But um, that being said, Wes Rogers is getting a ton of work. Uh, Jake Reed's getting a ton of work. We're going to have more depth. New Bedard Taylor had a, a knuckle joint repair. He's been out. Um, Ralston Evans has been out. David Kaminsky's been out. But that being said, Delray Baker's going to be really good. Don't know if you'll even see him this year. Like Timmy Gardner's going to be really good. Don't know if you're going to see him this year. Can't see him with the rule. Um, DeAndre is a guy we've got to get in shape and get a little bit more consistent. He'll be okay and got a chance to be good. But those those linemen are good. What they're doing is they're getting a bunch of plays now, which you like. I hope it doesn't bite us on the back end because Kaminsky and Ralston and Feeney are missing the works that, that they need. But they are mature. They are 400-pound benchers. They are grown men. And hopefully we'll have some, you know, a solid O-line. What do you think the alignment does for uh, just the linebacking core you know, in terms of just the kind of the angles that they play from now and just what do you, what do you feel like kind of changes um, from them and do you think it's more comfortable? In some ways, more? in some ways, it's it's really, I don't know if it's that much different, Dustin, but I do think in some ways it, they're going to have some clearer visions where mm-hmm. it's maybe not muddy who's going to be in the A gap and I'm supposed to be in the B where mm-hmm. maybe I'm not sure. But I think uh, at the end of the day it's similar. But I think from the way it's going, the understanding and what they're – and because they're all now even older, even though it's new, they're all older. They're not thinking as much about playing hard because they're mm. just physically more mature. Right. So they've got a little bit more self-confidence. They can concentrate more on the scheme. Last year you worried about yourself and mm. the scheme. So now guys like Clyde who had a nice pick six down here and, and, and TJ and Marcus Oliver, mm. you know, they're, they're self-confident because they're grown mm. and strong and mature. So now they can focus more on the scheme. So – it's probably a combination of not just the scheme, but those guys just being one year older. Even though right. it's a new scheme, they're just more they're just more grown men. It's going to mm-hmm. help us. Well, what do you see about a guy like I like Mangieri standing up? You know, and, and you know how does that suit him? And how have you seen the alignment suit the defensive front personnel? Um, again, I don't know if it's radically different. Um, um, as much as he's just in a position where he can come off the edge, he can he can be a drop player if you need him to be. He can be a, a guy involved with defensive movements and, and twists and slants and whatnot. So, um, uh, but I think he and Zach Shaw, and that's where Dave Kenny and Dave Kenny's out with a little like concussion today, which shouldn't be a big deal. That's where those three guys are playing right now. It's kind of a kind of a rush. Uh, it's kind of a, an athletic end or a big backer. Right. Is what it is. So it's right. kind of that hybrid deal. And then you've got a guy like Flo Harden and Clyde Newton, who are both running backs and safeties. Mm-hmm. They're playing kind of that I'm halfway back or halfway safety. Mm-hmm. And it kind of fits those guys in a good way. Do you think it fits like Latham and, and, and Big Ralph and Richards and some of those guys? To me, they're kind of just hitting the gaps you're supposed to. So whether you're lined up on the tackle and hitting into the guard or mm-hmm. lined up on the tackle and hitting out into the end, you're either a, you know an A gap player, a B gap player, a C gap player. So I don't think, I would say, they probably like it because I think they feel they're getting on the edge of the blocker instead of more down the middle. Because when you're attacking an offensive player, when you attack the whole man, you play to his advantage, you want to work edges still staying in your gap. So I would say in time, again, they're still learning, but they're doing good. I'll let you get with those guys. Have a good one. Masters.